Because she's sweet. I'm Yasmin. My family just moved here. Awesome! I'm Jade. We call her Cool Cat because she's super styling and way into cats. <laughs> Sasha. My nickname's Bunny Boo because I love the hip hop thing. What's your nickname, Yasmin? I don't have one. No way! How about Pretty Princess? Because a princess has to kiss a lot of frogs to find her prince. Super cool! people, we have a fashion show to finish. Pretty princess, that means you too. Really? Thanks. Let's get to it. I love looking back to when we were babies. We were so cute. Just think, before we were brats, we were brats babies. We had bratitude then, we've got bratitude now. And in a couple of weeks, it's going to be our 15th anniversary of being BFFs. From pacifiers to platforms. From bibs to bracelets. From rocking horses to rock stars. And from storybooks to our own teen magazine. You go, girl! Ew, new girl! Don't play with those baby fashion freaks! Yeah, you'll get, like, cooties or something. Come play with us. We're, like, so much more need a rue than those brats babies. Here, you can play with Booby Doll. Uh, no thank you. Hey, that's my Booby Doll, you thiefazoid! It's not! Liar, liar, pants on fire! Brainstorm, let's celebrate our 15 years of friendship by throwing one big awesome party! Yasmin here. Byron, what's up? Oh, not much. You know, the usual. Right. Judging, singing contests, putting together record deals, scouting out hot new talent. You're a busy man. Yes, well, I must say, work does keep me on the run. Anyway, you girls were absolutely, positively sensational in your overnight conversion to rock stars back in England. I was wondering, would you be interested in taking on a new project? Possibly. What is it? Um, could you hold on just for a moment? Some people are attempting to get my attention. Show you the ropes later. Sorry, as I was saying, I'll be in town the day after tomorrow. Could we meet then? Cool, see you Thursday.
adorable incompetents ever grow up. Now pay attention. I just came back from the sales meeting. Your things fashion advertisers are pulling out in droves and we simply cannot survive on gas relief ads alone. We have got to put Bratz Magazine out of commission once and for all. But like, how are we gonna do that? Yo, pinhead! Do I have to think of everything? You spy on the brats, you bug their office, tap their phones, invade their privacy. Get me the rundown of their upcoming issues or I'll have you hung by your pajama bottoms. Do I make myself perfectly clear? I wonder what Byron has for us this time. Whatever it is, I hope it inspires me. I've had writer's block for three days now. I'll never get my short story done in time for the writer's contest. Oh, don't worry, Yasmin. You'll write something way cool, and it will be optioned by some Hollywood agent and be a major motion picture, and you'll be rich and famous forever. Thanks, Angel. But right now, I'd be happy if I could put down one complete sentence. Hey, guys. Did you know that there's a large package sitting outside of your door? Uh, any of you guys expecting a package? No. What's in it? Girls, this can wait. Ow! Now, girls. I have something important to show you. Those clothes are slamming. Hey, look, it's Simone, the world's top supermodel. Now, girls, what I'm about to tell you must be kept very hush hush. Understood? Like, hush hush. The French government is frantic that if this leaked out, it could shut down the entire fashion industry. Oh, my gosh, not the fashion industry. That would mean no new clothes, no new accessories. And that's just the beginning. The entire global economy could be at risk. Global economy? Um, Byron, no offense, but isn't this out of your area of expertise? Yeah, you're a reality show judge, not some secret government spy. Actually, I'm both. Being a world-renowned TV judge is merely my cover, and an excellent one at that. Wait a minute, you're a spy? Oh my gosh, you're joking. This is no joke, this is serious. This photo of Simone was taken at designer Jean-Paul's preview show two weeks ago. I knew those styling outfits had to be Jean-Paul's. His line rocks! His line is in serious trouble. Simone is the third model in his upcoming fashion show to be attacked. Attacked? Whoa, what happened to her? Unfortunately, Simone's bones have been aged 80 years. She's lucky she can stand at all. Wait, what are you talking about? Apparently, an evil mastermind has concocted a bone-aging formula that severely cripples people overnight. No way! Impossible! Poor Simone! Will she ever walk the runway again? Will she ever again experience the thrill of a well-executed turn or bask in the glow of paparazzi flashbulbs? The three supermodel victims have one thing in common. They were all slated to be in Jean-Paul's spring show. We can only surmise that someone is determined to derail his career. Where do we come in, Byron? Girls, I'd love you to go to Paris as undercover runway models for Jean-Paul and find out who is behind this. You want us to go to Paris? To the city of romance and love and home of the most slamming beauty products in the world? The city that inspires writers. If I can't write there, I can't write anywhere. To the fashion capital of the world to meet Paris' as hottest designer. My lifelong dream. And we're going undercover. As supermodels. That's hot! Of course, there is one catch. You must pass the grueling I Spy certification test with flying colors. I knew this was too good to be true. Don't worry, Yaz. We'll work as a team and ace that exam. Totally. There's nothing the Bratz Pack can't do together. I don't believe it. I know. Like, there's really some sicko in France who's making all the models' bones get all creaky with some, like, black magic potion or something. Well, I can't believe that anyone would be, like, lame enough to hire the brats as supermodels. Oh, please. The real travesty here is that that insufferable Byron Powell actually has another job if his TV show gets canceled. Oh, life is so unfair. So, girls, what do you think? In or out? I'm in. Totally in. We're there. Wait, reality check. How are we going to get the magazine out with all of us gone? Actually, I can only take two of you. What? Sorry, budget cuts. Tell you what, decide amongst yourselves who should go. Training begins tomorrow, 6 a.m. sharp. I'll send a car to pick you up. Ta-ta. Only two of us? Me! Girls, 
I have a brilliant idea. We're going to Paris. You two will go undercover as models and solve the mystery before the brats know yeah. what hit them. I'll rightfully grab all the credit, become an international heroine, and advertising sales of your thing will skyrocket. Mito, we're like gonna be spies. Stop it, cabbage brains. Obviously, I'm going to have to put you both through a little spy training of my own. As you may recall, I was once an agent for the International Fashion Police. Hello, tightwad travel. people in Paris on the inside track? Yeah, well, Jean-Paul is my fave designer. I'm up on all the major players around him, so I'm already way ahead of the game. Well, fine, you and I will go. No way! The only reason we even know Byron is because I rescued his dog in London. Besides, Paris will get me over my writer's block. But I have to go to Paris. I have serious people skills. I can get people to tell me anything. And bonjour, I'm taking French 101. You can't leave me behind. Hey, I'm always the one who gets left behind. You're in for some major fun. Do you, like, really think that booby doll will make them crash? Positively phenomenal! You're already training! Now listen, I had a thought. Yes? Rather than choose amongst yourselves, why don't you all take the I Spy test? The two with the top scores will go. Deal? Deal! Excellent! Till tomorrow, ladies! All right, people, let's make a pact. We'll all be cool with Byron's decision. Totally! We can't let this mission interfere with our friendship. That's right, because nothing comes between the girls with a passion for fashion! I want you all to know that no matter who ends up going to Paris, you all will still be my BFFs. Totally! Hey, Cool Cat, what's in that drink? Actually, it's fruit juice syrup. Super powerful protein powder. Really? Can I try? Sorry, uh. but I need that protein energy boost if I want to beat you. Uh, ace the spy test. I thought we were working together as a team. Bunny boost right, all for one and one for all. So, Chloe, how about sharing some of your high-carb snack with us? Oh, sorry, all gone. Ladies. It's time to see which two of you have what it takes to be international super spies. I've secured a very special training ground. Are you ready? Yeah! So, are you ready for me to whip you into shape? Mm -hmm. 
basically, the girl who kicks consistently within the target range wins this round. Done an absolutely positively splendid job so far. Therefore, this grueling dirt path course will definitely determine who has the grit to go on to Paris. May the most cutthroat win. Yo, yes! Get your tire off the starting line. Get your tune off my back. Quit it, you guys. You're ruining my concentration. Get a grip. What is it? We're almost... Before you say anything else, we have something to tell you. As much as we want to go to Paris and help you find out who's been poisoning Jean-Paul's models, we've made a decision. It's all of us or none of us. We're the Bratz Pack. We work as a team. I have one word to say to you, then. Congratulations! Huh? You passed! Teamwork is paramount, so the real test was whether you'd be there for one another. Therefore, you're all going to Paris. Yes! The fashion capital of the world! The city of love, the city of hip, the city of lights, and the perfect place to celebrate our 15th BFF anniversary. Paris, here we come! Au revoir, Au revoir. Au revoir. Everybody.